Hello, everyone. How are you? Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Lily, and I am so happy that you are here. Whew, it's been a few months, hasn't it? Yes, it has. And for those of you that are still here, oh my gosh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here and welcome to all of my new subscribers. You guys, you have no idea what I've gone through. No idea what I've gone through. And I'm not going to get into great detail, but I'll share, you know, a little thing here and there about what's been going on. But for starters, I am doing my very first voiceover uh, video. And one of the reasons is because I moved, you guys. I moved again. Yes, I keep... How many times have I moved now in the last 18 months? I want to say three. Remember? From California to Utah. From Utah to California. From California back to Utah. From Utah to Utah. And now to Utah. <laughs> yes. Did you... Did you catch up with that? Um, so unfortunately, I went through a breakup earlier this year and that just turned my world upside down for a minute, for a minute. Let me tell you that um, I'm slowly getting myself um, back together again and I am now in a, in a new space, okay? And uh, so the reason I'm recording a voiceover is because it's kind of loud where I am, and I'll get into that in just a moment, but let me tell you what I'm doing right now. So, like most of us, I also get into a slump where I really don't know what to do. Um, I want to create, and like Tim Holtz said just recently, sometimes we don't want to create to finish a project, but we just want to create for the act of creating, and this has also helped me get out of that slump because it's been, I don't know, four or five months since I last did anything. So I want to talk a little bit about what it is that I do to get me out of the slump and um, fussy cutting. So you can see all the little bits and pieces of, of ephemera that I have that I fussy cut and I'll show you um, once I go through all of these little bits and pieces of super super cute ephemera where it came from. I purchased it at the Dollar Tree and because I wanted to do something I didn't know what so this is what I did. I just cut it. <laughs> That was the plan. And when I find myself in a slump, that's exactly what I do. I just start, I just start fussy cutting and that really, really helps. The other thing that I was doing while I was fussy cutting is, um, so many of you may know that I also do real estate. I am a licensed California real estate broker, uh, but creating and crafting is my passion. I've been doing it my entire life. I think I show you the entire, I think I'm pulling the entire sheet. Yeah, here it is. Isn't that cute? Super, super cute. So I was going to give that to my sister for her birthday. That's coming up in a few days, but she saw it and she's like, Oh, that's so cute. I got one. So, well, we're not giving her that for her birthday. Uh, so I'll, I'm just going to cut up that second one too, and keep it my little fall ephemera. So, uh, so what was I saying? I was talking about how um, I don't remember. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm going to be all over the place. Have you followed me along long enough to know that? Oh, look, squirrel. I get easily distracted. Um, right now, I'm going to show you, um, aside from fussy cutting, I doodle. So I started doodling and, you know, I'm not an artist or anything, but I like to doodle. So I can, I can do simple designs and that's what I did. No really plan, but I took some, those are just... Uh, not cut apart. So what are they called? The the scrappy pieces that are left over when you cut paper. That's what that is. Little pieces of white cardstock I had. And so I just started doodling on them. And then I grabbed some alcohol markers and played with those for a little bit. Whatever was within my reach is what I did. And after I doodled, I thought, why not color them? And so I grabbed some, some alcohol markers and I did that. And was just playing around with color and I liked the way that turned out. And you'll see some some cactus or cacti. Uh, you you may correct me down below. Uh, and I did some alcohol coloring with that. And oh my gosh, it, I just love the way that turned out. So that was a happy accident because that's not what I do. I'm not a, I'm super, super beginner when it comes to alcohol markers. Oh, I remember what I was telling you. So I'm a licensed California real estate broker and I'm licensed obviously in California. 
And so I need to get licensed here in the state of Utah. Look at how cute that little flower is that I drew. I love it. More to show you about that one. I really love it. So I put myself through real estate school. Um, I had actually enrolled last year, but with um, just personal issues that I was having, I kind of didn't have the mindset to, to finish the school. But guess what? I finished it. I just said, I'm going to get it done. And in 12 weeks and bam, I got it done an extra 120 hours so I can obtain my Utah real estate license. So I'm really excited about that. So while I was watching my live classes, um, everything was online, I was fussy cutting. So, you know, taking notes and everything and, and also fussy cutting at the same time. And so I had, I, um, so that's what I did. I fussy cut while I was in my class, my online class. So, um, so I showed you my little doodling as well. And then I also, that really helped. So I did a lot of little random things to kind of get me out of the slump, um, moving. So I, I, I'm back at my parents' house. I love my parents. You guys, I love them so much. They have been so, so, so generous and so kind and they happened to have the space. And so I came back, I'm in a new room though. So there's a video where I kind of turned the guest room into a craft room. I have a video for that and I'll link it down below. I'm not in that room anymore. I'm in a different room. And, uh, but now I have all of my things, you guys, I have my Utah treasures. I have my California treasures, lots of treasures. I don't fit at my parents. So I'm in, I'm in a pretty spacious bedroom and I'm also in the loft that I've turned into my craft area, my studio, but I also have tons of stuff in storage. So there's the random stamping. And so I did some stamping. Look at that beautiful, that, that pot, those pots there. Those are from a 1998 hero art stamp set that one of my coworkers gave me. And I love that stamp set. Just love it. And then I also use some dilution stamps and just stamp those and cut those. And those are also um, kind of what helped me um, get the juices flowing. No real plan. It was, everything was really just random and whatever I can reach for. Now, after I drew this beautiful, simple little flower, um, that inspired me, you know, that's what I'm talking about to get yourself out of a slump. Start with, start with simple things, fussy cutting, doodling, because it's going to evolve from there. And then you're going to, uh, have inspiration from your own things, you know, and that inspired me to create these tags, again, from craft paper that I had within reach. And I started to draw on this craft paper, but then I remembered I had embossing pens and I'm like, oh, that'll be fun. Let me emboss it. So I grabbed my um, embossing pens and I'll show you the ones that I used. One of them I've had for, oh my gosh, no joke, maybe 15 years and it's from Stampin' Up, the Versamark one. That was old, long time ago, but it's Versamark. So I don't know if you can still obtain it. I'm sure you can, but Ranger, the other two are Ranger, a white one or a clear one and a black one. So I chose, I chose to use the black one. And then that is an amazing, uh, embossing, uh, powder. It's like a glitter noir and by Nuvo. And I love it because it has this black shimmery look. And then I also added some random Tim Holtz stickers and then some, some uh, twine that I picked up at the thrift store. So yeah, so that's what I did. I did those and I'll kind of, I think I show you in just a moment. Yes, I do. Here I go. I go grabbing some uh, craft paper to show you how I made those tags. I love those tags so much. And I've mentioned this before. I struggle with simplicity. Um, I am a maximalist at heart, you guys. And I think you know that the more layers, the more, the more things I just love. And I like to just layer and add on all the stuff onto my projects. So I struggle with simplicity or not simplicity, uh, minimalism. I struggle with that. So I um, kind of gave myself a little pat in the back for these tags because they are super minimalistic, super simple, but dang, aren't they super cute? At least I think they are. I think they're beautiful. So yeah. And be oh, believe me, I wanted to keep adding. I wanted to add tons more stuff. I wanted to do stitching around the edges. I wanted to do some, some paint splatter, some, some gold shine on it. Oh, you know, and you could, but I thought I'm going to leave these as they are. 
So going back to my real estate, um, so I finished my courses and I have my state exam coming up in a few weeks. So I'm studying for that as well. So wish me luck. Wish me luck that I pass um, both the national and the state exam. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to that. I love real estate. Um, I have been doing real estate my entire life. You guys, seriously, one of my first after school jobs, I was 15 years old, was um, like a little, like a secretary at a real estate office. So yeah, so I have been doing that for a long time and also, you know, cutting paper and stamping and stuff my entire life. So yes, so I'm back at my parents, like I mentioned, and um, it's temporary because I will be um, moving on. You know, this is, this is just where I needed to land. I was going to, after the breakup, I was uh, going to be purchasing, uh, uh, I was actually going to purchase a condo to move into, but um, it didn't go through and that's okay. You know, I, I'm a firm believer that things happen for a reason. And uh, so my parents, my mother invited me to come and stay with her until uh, my next move. And so my plan is to purchase um, another house all for me, just for me, you guys. Um, you know, I did purchase a house last year, but unfortunately I had to walk away from it and I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, so I packed up all of my treasures. Do you guys remember? I was, uh, I think I set, had set everything up in a basement and it was pretty cool. So I'm in the loft here at my parents' house. It's pretty spacious, but man, you guys, I've got a lot of stuff. Um, because I like all kinds of different crafty things, you know, not just paper crafts, but I like other things too. I like working with floral arrangements. I'm not good at it, but I like doing it. I like painting. Um, I like art journaling. I like embroidery. I like DIY. I like refurbishing furniture. Uh, just, uh, just all kinds of crafts. I like sewing. You know, I think if you're a maker, if you're a crafter, you don't limit yourself to just one thing. At least I don't think you do. I'm sure you don't. I'm sure you've got a collection of everything you've ever wanted to work on. That's me. I've been collecting for a long time, my entire life. And I had accumulated a ton of stuff. So you can see here, what I did is I just drew a very simple flower. First with the Black Ranger embossing pen. And then I took the Glitter Noir Black, uh, Noir Black, how redundant embossing powder and sprinkled it over kind of looks like a little arrow there doesn't it that was not intentional and now I am heating it with my am I safe to call it vintage heating gun <laughs> it's not quite vintage but man have I had that heating gun for a long time I used to do stamping up back in the late 90s yep long time ago through the er, through the early 2000s and I love I love I love stamping up you guys I really do um so I love all kinds of things. I love everything. You make a stamp, you make an ink, I'm all over it. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just uh, I'm setting that embossing powder. And then I was thinking about leaving it as it is. Um, but if you can see over to the left how I colored it. And so I'll add some color to this one as well. But that's basically it. I made my own tag and you saw how I did that. Um, so if you don't have, if you don't have, uh, the ready-made tags you can easily create your own with whatever you have I happen to have this craft paper and I want to say it's about 60 pound craft paper I don't know exactly but I've used um, manila folders that I've purchased um, at the thrift store and even some that I've had in my stash from when I used to have my office many years ago so whatever you have you know you could even use cereal box to make a tag and then you saw how I cut the little corners and so now I'm drawing the other little flower that is looking up to the larger flower. I just love that. It is so, that is just so sweet to me. Isn't that sweet? So I'm going to emboss that as well. The Black Ranger embossing I've had for many years. And I was afraid that it wasn't going to pick up that embossing powder, but it really did. And it picked it up really nice. On the tag on the left, I actually did double embossing. But I just did single embossing on this one, and it turned out really good. And one thing I didn't add before were the little drawn leaves. So I did that. So, I mean, you could keep adding and adding. 
And as I was doing it, so many other things were going through my mind that I wanted to create. Um, and so that's what I wanted. I wanted to get the juices flowing because I was stuck after, after going through what I did and having to pick up and move again. But what was fun about that, you guys, you got to keep, you got to be optimistic. You have to stay positive. And I found joy again in looking through all of my things, you know, even though I had to, it was bittersweet, you guys, I had to pack up all my things again. But then when I unpacked some of them, I didn't unpack everything. It was, it, it brought me joy. You know, I was able to revisit my stash again. So you could also say that this is a use your stash kind of video. Get yourself out of the slump and then use your stash, whatever you have, and make and create beautiful things. I think I'm thinking, right here I'm thinking uh, about coloring it, and I honestly couldn't remember what I used to color the flowers uh, on the left tag. I thought I had used alcohol markers or just regular any marker, but then I remembered I used coloring pencils. So, And this is what I reached for. I have several different coloring pencils, everything from you know, Crayola um, to the Derwent. I have other brands as well. These just happen to be within my reach. I literally just extended my arm and grabbed the first thing that I could get a hold of. So I'm going in with that orange color, which is really nice. And I'm just going to fill that in, fill in the color. And it's really nice because it kind of keeps you within the lines. <laughs> and I really, I really like the way those turned out. So yes, yeah, so that is what I am doing now is uh, going through all of my stash again and using up everything that I have. So many projects. I have an ongoing list of everything that I want to make. And so, so that's what I'm doing right now. I had not created anything in several months because I was laser focused on finishing my real estate course. And that means I wasn't even watching my YouTube video. So I have been trying to catch up on my YouTube and I get notifications. Oh, by the way, if you want to receive notifications on my videos uh, when I upload, I think there's a bell that you can select. Look at how cute that pencil sharpener is, you guys. It's a little pig and it has wings. So what do they say when pigs fly? <laughs> is that a saying? So that is such a cute, look at it. So cute. I actually found that at the thrift store for 50 cents. So um, what was I saying? Oh my gosh. Yes. Please don't get annoyed with me because I do. I jump around. I'm all over the place. So there I go coloring it. I, I'm going to add some shading to it. So I grabbed a red coloring pencil and I'm just going to add a little bit of that red just to add some dimension to that colored flower. And so yeah, that is what I did. And what else was I saying? What, what, what was I talking about? Oh my gosh. I'm going to go back and, and uh, when I replay this to make sure that I don't sound um, like a doofus, uh, I'll remember what I said. And I'm like, oh yeah, I meant to say that, but I have now forgotten. <laughs> but I am talking about, oh, catching up on my YouTube videos and the notification bell. So you can do that to get notified. So I was receiving all of the notifications from all of the wonderful YouTubers that I subscribe to. And because I wasn't able to watch the YouTube videos, oh my gosh. So I save it for watch later because you could do that. You could, um, you'll get your notification for the video and you have the option to watch it now or save to your watch later playlist. And that's exactly what I did. So I'm now trying to catch up with my watch later and I've been watching everybody, everybody in my watch later playlist. And because if I had to watch anything um, on my computer screen, it was going to be my real estate classes because I really wanted to, to get that over with. So now that I have um, some free time, I'm able to catch up on all the wonderful videos. So that also helps. And that's the point I'm trying to make is, again, if you're in a slump, you know, start fussy cutting, random stamping, uh, you know, just nothing really doodling or watch your YouTube. You could also gain so much inf inspiration from watching other people make. And so that's also what I'm doing. You guys, as I was unpacking, I found this little goodie bag 
the little zipper bag of random uh, uh, words. I not only have the Tim Holtz ones that I used on the other, on the tag on the left, but I have these that I use. And and I, I can't remember who these are by because um, I can't remember and I can't see. I can't see you guys, but I will link, uh, not link it, but I will share um, some of the supplies that I used down below. But if you have any questions as to anything that I have used, please leave me a comment. But look at that. That little sticker says, oh, hey there. Oh, isn't that so adorable? I love it. I love it. Oh, hey there. So stinking cute. Um, so yeah, so I found the envelope of all of those extra word stickers. I'm telling you, another uh, thing that I did is I went through my sticker collection for inspiration. I found those, that extra bag of word stickers. Uh, I went through all of my Project Life cards. And what I did, you guys, is I took my Project Life cards out of, I had a, uh, like a big, a plastic bin where I had them all organized. I took them out and I took all my favorites and put them in a Project Life album. So they're not they're not um, documented or scrapbooked or anything like that. I just started putting them in the sleeves and I love the way that looks. So that's another thing that I did. Right now I am searching for my hole punch because I couldn't find it. So I'm scrambling for that hole punch. Because as you can see, I have those reinforcers. Those are from Dollar Tree. They're by the Avery brand. Ta-da, there it is. And I distressed them so you could see how they're a little bit brown. So I just took some distress ink and added some color. So there. And you know where that hole punch was, you guys? On the desk drawer on the left-hand side. So after running around looking for it everywhere, I just opened the drawer and there it was. So sometimes, sometimes things are right in front of us. We just don't see it. So... Start with whatever's in front of you. So I punched a hole, added that distressed reinforcer, and now I have this little basket that I picked up somewhere on clearance, I'm sure. And that is um, yarn or twine that I picked up at the thrift store. I love thrift store. I am a thrifter at heart, and I always go and peruse the craft section to see what I can find. And I only grab things that I know I'm going to use. Even though I want all the things, I can't. I have to let other people get those things too. <laughs> so I only grab what I'm going to use. And so there it is. I'm adding a little bit of a little bit of twine there. It might be baker's twine, might be embroidery. I don't remember, but you can see it right there. And that was a lot of it in that bag. And then I have embroidery floss. So I'm going to add a little bit of embroidery floss to tie around that little uh, fringy part at the top. My voice is a little hoarse right now. I think it's it's the allergies with the season change and everything. I'm having a little bit of of some allergies. So I'm going to drink a little bit of water here in just a second. But I'm trying to tie a little bow, uh, but I couldn't do it. And I tried, but I didn't want you watching me spend several minutes trying to tie a tiny little bow. So I gave up. But I know a bow would have been super cute, super cute on that. But I like the way it turned out anyway. And then I'm going to go in and I think I took I took my glasses off because I couldn't see. My glasses are on and off all day long. I tried wearing bifocals, but excuse me while I take a sip of water. Um, I tried the bifocals, you guys. I couldn't do it. I gave it I gave it two weeks and they kind of gave me a headache. So I went back to just my regular glasses, but now they're constantly on and off of my head. What do you guys think of this voiceover? It's different because I had to remember what I did. So I'm just kind of telling a story and then getting sidetracked as well. What do you think of those? And did you see that little hummingbird on the one? There's That was, I drew a hummingbird or what what I think is a hummingbird. And that was just from my mind, you guys. That was that hummingbird came from my mind. Sorry, I don't think I show it again, but but if you if you caught it earlier, um, I was usually I'll look at something and kind of you know draw it by looking at it. 
but that one came straight from my mind. You guys know how much I love my my Frida stamps, and these are Dina Wakely, homage to Frida, and I love this stamp set. You've been following me for a while, so you know how much I love this stamp set, and there it is right there. I just want to show it to you because it's my favorite, and so if you're interested, there it is, and I love it. Uh, I want to show you the um, the cover of it, so... I'll show you what it looks like, what this, all the stamps look like. But you've seen me use it. I've been using this one for a, lo for a long time. This is the most used stamp set that I have. So look what I did. This is the random stamping part that I'm talking about. Um, I reached for stamps that I had nearby. And earlier, you saw the little potted plants and you saw the dilution stamps. I just grabbed scrap paper and grabbed some stamps whatever ink pad was handy, and I just stamped away. And then after I stamped a whole sheet of the Fridas or whatever it is I was stamping, then I went in and I fussy cut them without any plan. I didn't know what I was going to do with them, but I needed to do something. I needed to stamp. I needed to cut. I needed to color. No project in mind. I just needed to do the things that I love in no particular order with no particular plan or project in mind. What I did to these after I fussy cut them, and this is not all in one day, um, ladies and gentlemen. This is over the course of three months while I was, you know, doing my online classes. This is what was happening. And I passed my online classes. Well, of course I did, or else I wouldn't be able to schedule my state exam. And I'm showing you all of the different... Um, enamel dots that I enamel dots enamel paints that I have and you saw I have the Nuvo I think I have every color of Nuvo drops that there is I yeah I do and then I also showed you Wendy Vecchi's enamel paints that I have there and then the other ones were liquid pearls by Ranger I have we need to use our stash so I can't be buying more of the similar things. I just need to use the things that I have. So use your stash, you guys. Let's use up our stash. And however, in whatever ways you want, you have the items. And if you don't have the items, you know, use what you can. Remember when I was here, when I first came to Utah, and I was just literally going around the house looking to see what I could find. And I found all kinds of things that I worked with that I may do with those. But now I have my stash that I, that I brought from California. So I'm stamping the Frida because this is what I did. I took some stamps and just uh, stamped on scrap paper. The, uh, I was, when I was looking at the Fridas and I wanted to add some color and I've done it before where I've gone in with coloring pencils um, and added color, and I think I even added a little fussy cut butterflies to her hair. I've added dimensional flowers to Frida's crown, but I wanted to do something different, and that's why all those little enamel and um, enamel drops and the um, liquid pearls and the Nuvo drops came into play because I thought I hadn't used those in a really long time, and I wanted to use them. So I want to show you what I did to add some dimension. So I'm bringing these I had already done. And I used an array of colors and different, different dimensional uh, paints and drops. But they turned out so cute. And in a moment, I think I bring up, I bring the, um, the finished project up closer so that you can see a little bit of that, of that dimension. Um, see, I haven't used those in a while, so just to play it safe, I grabbed a pin to poke through the um, little nib there to start using them. Now, the very first one that I did, not this one here, but when I started using the enamel accent, um, I was trying to be really precise with my flowers and apply the same amount of pressure, and I was being really careful, and that was very stressful. And I'm like, no, we need to freestyle this and we need to just let it go. So you could see that I'm really being very light handed, um, just kind of scribbly motion with the enamel accents. 
not too precise. Those are little scribbly flowers that are on her crown. And because the first one that I did, because I was trying to be so precise with it, um, the perfectionist in me didn't like it. But once I let that go, I loved the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The, um, oh, I can't think about it right now, but it was freeing, freeing. And I'm adding some more little flowers there, kind of giving her um, like a shawl with embroidery, the look of embroidered flowers on her cover there and her shawl, her, um, her little scarf, her little dress. And then I'm just going in and adding different colors. Gold. Oh my gosh. The liquid pearls in gold is gorgeous. I don't think I'd ever used it when I bought it many years ago. You guys, I'm not kidding. Maybe 2017. I kid you not. That's probably how long I've had it. I was worried that it was going to be dry, but I'm giving her some gold jewelry. And. I'm going to show you in a little while uh, a project that I made with these, um, with those Fridas. When I did the the first set of the Fridas, um, I let them sit. You know, the, after I stamped them, they sat on my desk for a while. Then I fussy cut them, and they sat on my desk for, you know, I'm talking weeks. And then the idea came to use the enamel accents. And that was weeks after I had, you know, done the initial stamping. And they probably sat on my desk for a couple weeks after I did the, the enamel accents. And let them sit for a while. It's nice to create items like this. So when you have future projects, you could go back and use these little elements that you have created. And they dried really well. They are not tacky. But because... They've been sitting on my desk for a couple of weeks. Here, I'm just showing you how it is that I did it. And I had so much fun creating these. And so I let those, after I created these, I let them sit on my desk and fussy cut around them. Let me tell you, when I, when I set up my camera to do this video, I didn't plan on uh, doing a voiceover. I was actually talking to you or speaking to you as I was creating. But halfway into the video, um, I had, my parents had guests come over. It was like one after the other. <laughs> and then they were, they were calling up to me, Lillian, Lillian. And so it got really, really loud, and there's so much background noise. Music was playing. You know, there were guests downstairs, and you could hear footsteps and television and, and music and um, conversations from down below. And I thought I was actually going to end the video. I'm like, I can't do this. And But my sister had, we had had a conversation earlier, and she says, you know, you should try uh, doing voiceover over your videos. Because I had told her that I had been wanting to record a video for a while, but I really couldn't because it was, there's just so much going on here. And she she said, you should try doing a voiceover. I didn't know I would be doing a voiceover to this video. See what I'm using right here? You guys, these are Stampin' Pastels from Stampin' Up. Oh my gosh, I think I've had these for 25 years. Maybe. I've had them for a really, really long time. Um, and look how good they look. These have gone everywhere with me. They've traveled with me from, you know, from state to state. And they're not even cracked. Knock on wood that they don't crack. Knock on wood. But look at them. And so I'm just adding a little bit of the pink to her cheeks. And then a little bit of green to her eyelids. Just to give her some color. In the Frida's I've done before, I use coloring pencils. But... I, I'm telling you, I found those in my stash because I haven't used them in forever. And that it's a much softer look. There's, you know, so I thought I need to use this. So even though I used it for just to add a little bit of blush, I still used it. So let's use our stash. Let's go back 
let's go back and look through all our stash and challenge ourselves to use them. Just grab the things, place them on your desk or your work table, and and just say to yourself, I'm going to use this. I don't know how, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to find a way to use it. If not, remember remember the saying, use it or lose it. Yeah, I, I still feel that way. You noticed earlier that my stamping wasn't very clear. And so I'm going in with a pen. And uh, that's just to kind of fill in those lines that were very faint. And you could do that. There are no rules. There are no rules. And I love this pen. If you want to know what pen it is, just ask me below and I will tell you because I can't, I can't remember, but I know I love the pens. And let's see, am I adding anything else? Is she done? Are the little Frida's done? I don't know. I think, oh, I'm going in and adding more gold accents. So, yeah. So going back to trying to record, um, trying to record a video. I could probably do it, but it'll have to be like in the middle of the night when everyone is sleeping, but then they won't be able to sleep if they can hear me talking. <laughs> They're like, who are you talking to up there? So you may see more of this voiceover, depending on how it turns out. I hope it turns out well. Look at that. Can you see a little bit of that dimension? I, I love, and then I'm telling you here that once it dries, I'm going to go in there and fussy cut around my little Frida's. Let me know what you think of this voiceover style. I know some of you that um, that are creators and have your own YouTube channels. I know that you do, some of you do the voiceovers and you do it very well. Oh, this is what I did, you guys. Look what I did. I added the little Frida's to these cards that I made in 2017. I bet you it was 2017. And I was, I was jelly printing I jelly printed on these cards. Uh, these were ready-made cards, just blank, blank note cards. And I remember when I was playing with jelly prints and I was also playing with paste and glitter. And look at all those paints. I think that 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 pearlescent paint, uh, I think it's um, a Heidi Swap texture paste from a long time ago. So I, I found these in my stash because I made these a long time ago, you guys. And when I was moving, I'm like, I have to use these. So I actually had those on my desk. I didn't know that I would be adding the little Frida's to it until I put two and two together. And I'm like, oh, Frida loves color. And I think I'm going to add Frida's to the front of these cards. And guess what, you guys, I'm doing a little giveaway. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select a random um, comment from uh, down below. And I am going to send you a set of four of these cards. And they come with blank envelopes too. So, but look at those cute cards. So comment below and I'm going to select you and then I'll reach out to you. And I am going to send you four of these Frida mixed media cards with their matching envelopes just for you. Okay. And I want to do it because I didn't do the 1000 giveaway. And so it's my thank you to you for being here with me. Oh, a little surprise, you guys. Um, I'm going to share some happy mail. Um, I have a subscriber in um, out of state. Her name is Nola. And earlier um, this year, I think she kind of felt that I was going through a little something, something. And she sent, she reached out to me and asked if she could send me some happy mail. And I said, of course. I received this happy mail just after I had moved into my parents' house. And it was the the kindest gesture, you guys. It was something that I really needed um, because I was feeling really blue. And she, she knows how much I love my Frida and uh, my Mexican vibrant traditional colors. And she sent me this envelope of goodies. Noel, if you're watching, thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You have no idea. Um, how how happy I was when I received, you know, um, your happy mail. So I thank you 
Thank you. You sent me these beautiful napkins and tissue and just little bits of ephemera. But those Frida postcards, those were amazing. I love them. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, so this is as a thank you. I, I love Happy Meal, you guys. Um, and it's just... It's just such a kind gesture to me. And um, she sent me a, a nice little note um, telling, just just saying hello and and thanking me for my channel. Um, so as a thank you um, to all of you that are here with me is I want to do this, um, this little giveaway. So just comment below and I will select. Um, you know what? I'm going to select two random comment comments. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. So two of you will receive each a set of four of those mixed media Frida cards. So if you would like to have those, just let me know down below and I'll reach out to you and make the arrangements. Um, today is, what is today's date? I am recording this on Sunday, November 7th. So what if we go through um, the 10th? So all the way through November 10th, I will close the giveaway and then on um on the following day, the 11th, I'll select someone, reach out to you, and then send you, send you the um, the mixed media card. So yes, I so just let me know below. But did you see all these beautiful things that Nola sent me? Thank you, thank you so much. Everything, the tags, and the little paper clips, and the altered paper clips. So she sent me some some little um, bits and pieces of ephemera for me to make my own altered paper clips. So. That's really, thank you again. I, you made me so, so happy. So yeah, as I was recording this video, you guys, I really didn't have any plan. You know, I wanted to show you how I got myself out of a slump and all the little things that I do. I know it's random and it's all over the place. <laughs> there's a giveaway, there's a happy mail share, and then there's all the different things that I do for inspiration. So there, did you see that cute little, Look at that little clothespin I altered a few years back. That's just a little snowman altered, altered a clothespin. So here we go. Here is everything um, that I created. You guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here. I am back and I'm with you.